Hello, Lola's. So I'm here with baby Noah. And I'm going to get him dressed. Everybody else is doing um, Vlogmas and everybody else is getting their babies ready for like Christmas. But I haven't done that. I've never done that because the truth is most of my babies do not most of, I mean, most of the time I do not do like holiday themes and stuff like that. So, um, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe to this channel by smashing that red subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad so that you are alerted when I do another video or a live stream. I'm going to try not to get in the light so much and I'm hoping that I don't have too much light on him because I'm just trying not to block the light. So let me see. So yeah, so I don't really want to take him out of this so I will tell you guys a secret. Um, I'm probably going to see what this looks like if it's not more adorable than what he has on already. Probably after the video he'll go back into what I already have him in so that's just how it go anyway guys oh yeah guys I have merchandise um, that's available um, the link will be in the description bar or below this video and also if you want to join my exclusive live streams you can do that by clicking the link also in the description bar However, it is a $1.99 monthly charge and you do have to be 18 years old to join that membership. So, anyway, this is the little outfit we're going to try to put him on. It's 0 to 3 months, but it looks very big for 0 to 3 months, so I'm not sure. I'm just not sure on it. Um, but we're going to give it a go, nevertheless. <laughs> and um see how it go so you know you guys know i've been going back and forth with all my shenanigans about what babies will stay in the nursery what babies will leave what i'm trying to accomplish especially for 2020 what i want in my collection oh he just looks so cute with those socks on don't he <laughs> um and so you know, it's just been a bit of a challenge. I'm going to kind of probably turn him to the side so I can get this diaper change. Um, so it's been a bit of a, a, a challenge for me to make, you know, different decisions. But I'm just wondering. I'm thinking to myself, I'm not leaving the hobby. But I'm definitely um, skimming back in the hobby. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to collect as you know, I know I can't collect as much. I don't know if I'll be, you know, how, how I'll collect. If I'll only do dolls that I make myself, which is definitely, you know, saves me money. Or will I just kind of just paint, paint, um, to sell and, you know, interact in the hobby in that way. So, but my question to myself and I guess, you know, you guys, what you guys think, <laughs> and it's okay to give me your raw opinions. Um, do you think that I could be okay with just having one silicone baby, which would be Noah, in my collection? Um, do you think that I could even last <laughs> six months like that? Um, what do you guys think? Um, as you guys know, my private baby, baby Alex, will be going to my mom um, in a few weeks. <laughs> and um, so, I don't have a girl silicone baby as it is. And I still love my reborns. Um, but, you know, reborns are different from silicone babies, for sure. Um, especially if you've experienced the silicone world. <laughs> it is a def definite... Um, difference. I just love this sculpt so much. I, I can't say it enough. It's my favorite sculpt. Um, I just I love his feet. I'm I'm a big feet person, 
and I'm I am particular about the hands but I'm more particular about the feet I think and the position of the body and the legs and all that stuff of the babies when I when I get silicone babies um it's such a expensive um doll to have in silicone period no matter where you get it from um until I just I think I'm a little bit more particular about the sculpting than anything else on the silicone baby. Because, you know, if you lose paint, you lose hair, you can't lose the sculpting. So I got to be in love with the sculpt. That's that's always been my theory. And I think maybe because when I first started out, um, I didn't get to, to be that picky. You know what I mean? I just had to, I just wanted the feel. And, and now, you know, as you start to spend more money, you, you get to be a little bit more choosy. So I don't know, that's, that's just my thing. So I'm really thinking like, maybe, you know, Noah will be enough for me. I don't know. Um, you guys seem to know me pretty well. So that's why I'm asking you guys what you guys think. Oh, I don't like the way this do. Oh, wait. No, it does button. Okay. Because I'm like... I think my alarm is going off. Okay. I hear it going off, but I can't... It's not... I don't know why. Maybe because my watch was quiet. It's not alert me. But yeah, I thought this didn't button unbutton from the top. But now I see that it do. And I still don't really care for it because it's got buttons and then snaps. And so now so see it it, it unbuttons and then snaps. I didn't really pay attention to that. I just thought, oh, this is Christmassy, you know, this will be cute. Let me see if Noah look cute in it, so to speak. But I didn't really look at how it, you know, how you get it on them. I guess I need to start paying more attention to that. Um, hang on. There you go. Yeah. Cause I don't, I don't, I like my stuff to be easy for my me to get my my babies in. Um, even if it was a real baby, I would be a little annoyed that I have to sit and button stuff. Because I hate button my own stuff. But, anyway. But, yeah. Um, I remember when I first started collecting silicone, I said to myself, if I had money, and I, I really, really had a lot of money, I would probably collect more silicone than I did vinyl. But um, definitely as um, I got further and further along in the hobby and my tastes uh, got more expensive and um, the prices started getting more expensive, you know, I realized that is further from a reality than even before and um i know i got a lot of hobbies i like to write i like to um decorate and i've kind of had got back into i knew this was going to be too big this is too big for him um Jalen probably could wear it that's how big it is it's swallowing him i'm not going to put this on him if you look and zero to three months, but it's 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 big, guys. Look at that. That's not gonna. I'm not gonna put that on him. I'm not gonna even button this up. Um. What was I saying? I don't know. But yeah, I I guess I was kind of still talking about. Um, wanted more 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 silicone 
than um than vinyl and you know i love my vinyl but it is you know it's definitely a different experience when you have the silicone but I still get really excited when I get a, a um, reborn baby and stuff like that. But even that has went up so much. So I don't know. I'm just thinking about being minimizing. And, you know, the only bad thing about that is when you stop buying the dolls, you start finding other things that you can buy that is associated with the dolls. And then, so then when you do that, you're still spending money. <laughs> so. I'm not quite sure that um not quite sure that that actually is going to help me. <laughs> so, how much time we got? Oh. Um cuz I'm thinking like if I have less, I can buy, you know, nicer accessories in the nursery and stuff like that, but um I don't know that stuff adds up too and before you know it you spent just as much money just in um you just kind of break it down that's like people that say oh my god i can't believe they spend so much on the silicone babies and then when you look at their nursery they got like eight reborns that cost them about a thousand dollars a pop or you know, close to a thousand dollars a pop, you've actually bought an expensive silicone baby. You just bought it in increments. But I do think that's what makes a difference too though. It's kinda it's easier to to spend eight hundred dollars here, a thousand dollars there, seven hundred there, five hundred here, you know, twelve hundred there, versus all in one whop, you gotta drop that big chunk. So I think in our mind it makes it feel better. It makes us feel like we're not spending as much. Boy, this hobby will really <laughs> get you choked up. But, you know, sometimes you find a good deal and you get a good buy. So if you if you sit still long enough, I'm learning from my some of my other friends that recently just got some really good buys and some really good, you know, you know, nowadays you can't even get a silicone baby. Uh um for under, you know, probably like a really, really, I'm talking about one of the name brand ones. You can't get them probably under $6,000, $7,000 nowadays. So it's kind of like, eh, it's kind of like, um, I don't know. These might be a little tight, but that's his little jeans. I, I normally put them on tights before I put them on the jeans, but these jeans are, these ones might be a little tight. He got some bigger ones, and I'll probably put those on him. And because I didn't prepare and bring his tights, I'm not going to do it, but I think he'll be so cute. Because that you guys can picture him with his little jeans on and a sweater. But <laughs> in the meantime, and I can put his socks back on because he can actually still wear these socks with his sweater. So I'm going to put his socks back on. Actually, let me see. If I don't have to do much rubbing with the jeans, then I will. I will put them on him. boy I don't know guys let me see see some of this dressing stuff is like not for camera because I have to like pick him up and shake him in the paint in his pants and stuff you know I like to do your real babies <laughs> you don't really Let's see. I will pick him up lay him across my chest and pull these pants up. And then he's wiggling. But that's what 
that's what I would do. So like now, I have to pull this up like this and pull this up like this because it's over his little boom boom. And then it's kind of like, because it's, it, they're not like, they're, they're not too little and they're not tight on him. They're actually, he actually got room. <laughs> it's just, you have to, like I said, do, do what I said. You have to put him across your, your chest and shake him in his jeans, so to speak. So that's that. And if he had his shoes, I would put him on his shoes, but he, I don't have his shoes over here and I'm not gonna run and go get him. How much time? Oh, we're really out of time, to be honest. But yeah, so now he needs a binky. And I had a binky. Where's your binky? Where's the binky? I hate when I do that. Oh well, it was an un unexpected change of plans. Maybe he'll just he'll just have have Elmo. How about that? From um, Reborn Love Is Real. How about that? Is that okay? <laughs> but anyway, that that is. No, a poop. So yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. Remember what I was talking about? He does have this little Christmas hat, but that goes with that. And so that I'll feel how to get past that. Oh no, wait. This is the one I was looking for. There we go. I was looking for that one for that baby. I was looking for that one for that baby. And then you would. Kind of get him a little positioned a little bit more. There you go. So, hopefully you guys like my little snoogaboop in his little jean outfit. Because that's what he's going to be wearing. I can move the light from sticking directly on him. And I can zoom in a little bit more. You guys can see him a little bit more. And that is that. That is... Noah Poole, he is Mr. Willow by Claritella. And thanks guys for watching and see you in the next video.